Okay, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make tokens for your online games. You can use them in Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, whatever else that you use. Um, and in order to keep this like 100% free, I'm going to be using GIMP. And so first thing that we're going to do is head over to uh, the internet and find an image of a token that we want to make. So um, let's, let's make a scarecrow. And we'll just put in D and D. Uh, let's use this one. This is one of the official uh, Wizards of the Coast art pieces. All right. Now, if you want to make um, like a round circular token with a ring around it. find something for that and we've got some more options here too this one's kind of nice it's simple this one looks actually pretty good why don't we try this one all right let's open this up in GIMP Let's check and make sure that this isn't as messy as the other one was. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's the shadow here, which is fine. And the outside looks good. There's a bit of a shadow here. That's fine as well. The other one had just kind of like a haze, sort of a semi-transparent layer through the whole thing. So that's not what we want, but this looks good. So we'll use this. Now, if we wanted to change the color of the ring, um, we can just go here. Put a color balance, and then you can do this in the shadows, midtones, or highlights. I'm not sure if there's a way to do all three at once. Anyways, if we wanted to say make this into a red token, we could go ahead and start pushing it more towards the red. You can see the highlights aren't really changing much. It's more the middle stuff because we're doing the midtones right now. So we'll go to the shadows. Change those more towards red, and then the highlights. And that's going to become a little more orange. So maybe push this to the yellow side, and then maybe some magenta. That'll give us a nice orange hue. That looks pretty good. So you can do that with any color, you know, uh, kind of fiddle around with the settings a little bit. If you end up with something you don't really like, you can just undo it because uh, it does all three at once. So we'll leave it this color for now though. Now let's grab, so we're going to get the uh, ellipse tool and if you hold shift while you make this it will it'll cause it to keep its kind of relative size. So uh, let's just grab kind of the face and a little bit of the arms and we'll hold shift as we do this. So that'll make it a nice circle. Okay, and then we'll just copy that, paste it in here, and then we're gonna have to resize it. So we'll go to layer, scale layer. Uh, currently it is 687 pixels wide and high. Let's make it uh, 300 and see what happens. That'll be half, roughly. Still a little too big. So let's go 250. And you can see this is linked, so it'll change automatically both of them when you do one. That looks much better. We could still go a little smaller. Let's go 240. There, that's pretty good. Now, let's paste this to a new layer, and then if we drag it underneath, it'll kind of Put it behind. Why is that working? Okay, so there was a problem with uh, the screen capture software that I was using. It was interfering with the function of GIMP for some reason, so I wasn't able to drag the layer. But normally you can just drag this layer down and it'll go behind the, the other layer. 
So now, let's go ahead and make that layer invisible. Well, actually, we could we could leave this token as it is, um, and it would look fine. But what I prefer to do is to make the uh, background here transparent as well, um, and that way you can see the map underneath, kind of the token. So let's go ahead and grab the magic wand tool, and this will select an area altogether, and we'll go ahead and select all of this. Now you just have to be careful when you're doing this because sometimes it selects more than you want. And this is going to be tricky because of all the sort of fuzzy inside the torso there, but that's alright. And we've got to make sure that we have an alpha channel. If you don't, you just add alpha channel here, but we already do, so that's okay. And then just delete everything that's selected. That'll get rid of most of that. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not perfect, but good enough for now. So let's go ahead and make that visible again. And then we can just export this. And we can export it as a PNG uh, to make sure that we keep that alpha channel so that there's some transparency. And now you got your new token. And I don't recommend merging these layers because if you want to make another one with the same ring, you can just delete this layer and you can go ahead and start over with a new image. So that's kind of a quick and dirty how to make these. Anyways, that's all I've got, so I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.